to this day. 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 What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Javen Sugar Hill, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury, and I'm responding and counterpunching this article that I read that Javen Sugar Hill, the trainer of Tyson Fury, says that Tyson Fury is the hardest punching heavyweight in the heavyweight division. He has one punch knockout power. Let me counter punch. Um, for one, I don't believe that. Um, one punch knockout power. I don't believe he has one punch knockout power. You know, and then that's saying a lot. And it's saying a lot about Deontay Wilder. Okay, because... If Tyson Fury has one punch knockout power, we'll see on the 23rd of April, first of all. Second of all, it shows that Tyson Fury is a guy that hit Deontay Wilder at will. He hit him at will. He hit him a lot. Okay, He just didn't hit him with one punch and then he was out. No, he hit him with two or three punches. You know, He hit him with combinations. Is he one of the fastest? You could say that. But one punch knockout power, that remains to be seen. Okay. Um, honestly, it really doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter if he has one punch knockout power or not. But for Javen just saying that, I think that's a confidence builder. I think that's just something that he believes that he has. But I'm wondering, what is he basing that off of? He's been with Tyson Fury since two th late 2019, right? So the two fights that he's had has been against Wilder. So there's not enough people on the resume of Tyson Fury to make a statement like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's a very incomplete statement. You know, oh, he's, he has one punch knockout power. Well, I mean... He didn't knock out Deontay Wilder with one punch. And he only, and he only fought Deontay Wilder. And he only known to be a puncher when he fought Deontay Wilder. A guy that didn't, that had a lot of flaws. He had one gift and he used that gift well. Aqua J. Ajis, right? Which means do what you do well. And he did that well. He used that right hand. But other than that, he really didn't have anything particular but except for height. Okay. He was fa he was faster than a lot of heavyweights, but he put on that weight. It didn't help him. So it was open season for Tyson Fury. But to have knockout power, you know, I would say this. Say something that makes sense. Say something that we can believe. But don't say things like he has one punch knockout power. That's just, that's bullshit. You know, let's just be real. That's all BS because... You know, you saying something like that, you have nothing to base that off of, you know, unless he's seen him knock out a sparring partner or two. That's the only other way that he could use that to be true about Tyson Fury and his punching power. The truth of the matter is, people, it's the heavyweight division. You keep taking clean shots from someone that's trained six weeks to punch everything from stamina, uh, strength and conditioning, skill, sparring, that all contributes to knocking somebody out. So someone has focused on punching you in the face and they're over 205 pounds. They could potentially hurt you. And these guys are much bigger. So, you know, I, I remember once upon a time they had or they wanted a super heavyweight uh, division, you know, and Needless to say, Mauricio ain't done, so he might make uh, <laughs> a new a, a new division for the WBC. You know, I can see it now. I think we need to make a super heavyweight division, and I label Tyson Fury as new champ. <laughs> That's given if he loses. But, I mean, they will find a way to make something happen. It is from 240 and up. 
I think this is a good opportunity for big fighters. You know, so you got bridger weight, then heavyweight, then super heavyweight. Sanctioning fee, sanctioning fee, and sanctioning fee. <laughs> more money, more money, more money, right? So that's what I think could happen. But other than that, you know, no, I just think that's that's just confidence. I think he's just bragging on his fighter. You know, some sometimes coaches can do can say certain things that they know ain't true. They just say it for the sake of, you know, boosting that fighter's morale, you know, but for him saying he has one punch knockout power, I don't see how he could say that at all. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think and how you think he came to that conclusion. Javen Sugar Hill, the trainer of Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.